Hi, my name is Kai Wan. Today, we're going to compare two ultra wide angle lens from Sigma. The first one, 14 to 24 f 2.8. Second one, 14 f 1.8. Overall, both of these lenses are heavy, but you can capture some super sharp image out of these lenses, and you also can get super fast autofocus. I really enjoy using both of them. So I do some image quality tests for myself and I want to share with you guys. Hope you guys can figure out which lens fit your need. The 14 1.8 wide open. We have sharp center but soft corner. And we have some green tint color shift. You can stop down the aperture to f2 and you will fix the color shift problem. We can see some minimal chromatic aberration but you cannot fix it by stop down the aperture. It's always there. And you can also see a lot of spherical aberration. You can stop down the aperture to f4 to fix this problem. f4 to f9 are the best image quality range. The image quality slowly increase until f13. Aperture smaller than f14, your image will start to fall apart. And then we are going to do a lens flare, bokeh, focus breathing, and distortion test. And the next one, 14 to 24 f 2.8. At 14, 2.8 wide open, sharp center and corner, fine detail. But we can see minimal chromatic aberration and you cannot fix it by stop down the aperture. F 4.5 to F 9 are the best image quality range. Image quality slowly increase until F 13. Aperture smaller than F 13, your image will start to fall apart. And then we are going to do a lens flare, bokeh, focus breathing, and and distortion test. Next test, 14 to 24 at 24, wide open, sharp center but soft corner. We can see some minimal chromatic aberration but you cannot fix it by stop down the aperture. F9 to F13 are the best image quality range. Image quality slowly increase until F13. Stop down the aperture smaller than F14, your image will start to fall apart. And then we are going to do a lens flare, bokeh, focus breathing, and distortion test. Next test, we are going to compare these two lens 14 and 14 to 24 at 2.8. I'm just curious about which have the best image quality at 2.8. Both of the lens at 14 are identical, sharp image in fine detail. But at a corner, the 14 is slightly softer than the 14 to 24, and we have some noticeable chromatic aberration. And about the 14 to 24 at 24 wide open, it's pretty soft. But surprisingly, the 14 to 24 at 24 is still slightly better than the 14 at 2.8. Interesting. Easy conclusion. If you want the best image quality and a little bit zoom range, the Sigma 14 to 24 2.8 is for you. And if you really need a 1.8 on a super wide angle lens, then the Sigma 14 1.8 is for you. Okay, so this is the end of this comparison video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more photography stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Wan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.